Hello and welcome to this week's video. This week we're going to have a look at what makes for a comfortable retirement or a more modest retirement. What do the figures look like and how can we calculate them? So what I've got in front of me here is a, a website which is the Australian Superannuation Fund Association, ASFA. Uh, they've put together a lot of tools um, to give us an idea of what a retirement looks like in terms of uh, your spending habits. Um, so this calculator here, which I tried to open in Firefox, didn't work. Uh, if you can use Internet Explorer, it seemed to work fine there. So what you can do here is put in some of your vital details, uh, couple or um, or single, uh, what state you're in. I've just left it uh, Victoria, uh, given that's my home state, and whether you're after a comfortable or a modest uh, retirement. And obviously you can set your budgeting there weekly through to, to annually. We'll just leave it at annual for the time being. So you can see here for a couple, um, you know, with a, a, you know, for a modest lifestyle, it's around thirty-five thousand dollars per year. And the good part about this calculator, it breaks it down into all the different costs. Um, as you can see, food is really taking up at nearly a quarter of the uh, of the yearly spend. But it really breaks down where you're spending your money uh, based on um, yeah that type of lifestyle. If we go to a more comfortable one. Um, we can see that the um, obviously more money means your you know, your food spend is up, but it represents um, you know just you know seventeen percent of your of your uh, spend for the year, and that makes around sixty thousand dollars. So really good calculator. You can muck around with that, uh, male, female, couple, singles, and depending what state you're in. So well worth checking out. The other one that we were keen for you to have a look at was. Again, this is via SuperGuru, um, same association has put together this website, and it really talks about how much superannuation you'll need. And you can see here, um, for a comfortable retirement, they're talking about half a million dollars uh, for a single, and couples about 640,000. So that's where you're getting a combination of, of, of age pension, and also some of your, some of your own money, uh, probably not for the single in that scenario, but as you use your money, age pension will kick in. But what I wanted to focus on here is um, they're looking at three categories, um, same as what we looked at before, comfortable and also a, a modest retirement, but then also an age pension. And you can see the different figures here, $60,000 for a couple uh, in a comfortable retirement, just around $35,000 for the, for the modest retirement, and then 30, a bit over 31 is the age pension. And then it's giving a breakdown for each sort of category of, of food, wine, uh, you know, alcohol, uh, what type of car you drive. So you can see here under a comfortable retirement, um, one annual holiday within Australia um, obviously is quite manageable. On a modest retirement, it's talking about you know, one or two short breaks within Australia, possibly close to home. And under an age pension, we're talking really about short breaks or even day trips out. Um, it, talking about cars, uh, whether you, you're under an age pension, I have seen this, that um, you know, age pension only, particularly for singles. Singles do it a bit tougher than most. Um, no car, or if you've got a car, they're hard to afford by the time you pay your rates and insurance and any uh, any works that needs to be done. So really good to have a, a look through this. It may provide some incentive to, um, you know, to save that little bit extra to, to make sure we're somewhere in between the comfortable and modest to uh, you know, have the uh, the lifestyle that we're after. And as I've always said uh, to clients, um, you know, in retirement, it's really about cash. It's about income. That dictates what you can and can't do in retirement. Thank you for listening. Uh, if you could do us a favor and uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And uh, yeah, please feel free to uh, yeah leave any suggestions or any other topics you'd like covered from a financial planning or personal finance point of view. Thank you very much for listening and we'll catch you next week. Bye.